Okay, and for the last example for 1D motion, we are going to look at a penny dropped from rest off the top of the Empire State Building. The Empire State Building is 1,250 feet or 381 meters tall. And for this analysis, we're going to ignore air resistance. We're going to look at how fast would it be going at the bottom, and then we want to look at how realistic is the assumption that air resistance can be neglected. So we're going to do this problem exactly as we've done the previous ones. We have a penny. It is dropped off the building for a total of uh, 381 meters. Dreadfully sorry. I think it makes sense to let up be positive. That means our acceleration is going to be negative again. Let's let the bottom be 0 meters. That makes the top 381 meters. And we're told it's dropped from rest, so V0 is going to be 0. We can now do our grocery list. I'm going to put T up here because I'm kind of running out of room at the bottom. Okay. I don't know T. So how fast would it be going at the bottom? I can't answer that off the top because I don't know the time. Um, a sub y will be a negative 10 meters per second squared for gravity. Vy is what I want to know. V naught y is 0 because it's dropping from rest. Y naught is going to be 381 meters, and y will be 0 meters. Okay. Writing up our equations. Okay, so here they are. I need to know Vy. Vy is in the bottom equation, but in order to find it, I have to know T first. So I have to start with the top equation. Okay, so Y is 0, Y0 is 381, V0 is 0. And the acceleration is a negative 10, so there we go. Okay, so simplifying, I'm going to move the 381 to the other side. Negative 381 equals 10 divided by 2 is 5, so that's a negative 5t squared. So t squared will equal 381 divided by 5, which is 76.2, which makes t equal to 8.7 seconds. I can now use the bottom of equation to find the final velocity, assuming air resistance can be neglected. V naught y is 0. A sub y is negative 10. T we just found as 8.7 seconds. So 10 times 8.7 is a whole lot like 87 meters per second. So if we ignore air resistance, that penny would be going 87 meters per second at the bottom. Okay. Now, second part of the question here. How realistic is the assumption that we can ignore air resistance? So I have two websites down here at the bottom which we're going to look at really quick. Okay, the first one is just the um, verification of the height of the Empire State Building. It's 1,250 feet to the top floor, but if you want to include the antenna on top, you have to add an additional 204 feet. However, I highly doubt somebody's going to be standing on the top of the antenna to drop a penny, so I chose the 1,250 feet and then converted that to meters. For our second website, so there's this statement, you know, what would happen if you dropped a penny off the top of the building? Would it hurt somebody? So here is the second website, which talks about why it is not dangerous 
to drop a penny off of the top of the Empire State Building. Okay. Um, so it verifies our 1,250 feet tall. That's right, right here. It also verifies the um, uh, 9 seconds. We calculated 8.7. It actually says just shy of 9 seconds, right? Which would give us a speed of 190-ish miles per hour. So let's take our speed really quick. Remember, our speed was 87 meters per second, right? And talk to Google, Google really quick. So if we type in 87 meters per second in mile per hour, it tells us... I have never had Google do that to me before. Let's try this again. Weird. Okay, so B A C I D L I N. Ah, okay. So 87 meters per second is 194 and change miles per hour, which is also consistent with what they say in this particular document. They then take and compare the um, 190 miles per hour to what's going on with the bullet. The bullet is fired with 600 miles per hour, so that's a lot more than 190. But there's a big difference between a bullet and a penny. A bullet has a nice point, which will penetrate, whereas the penny really doesn't. Okay? So, probably even from that standpoint, you're not going to hurt anybody if we could ignore air resistance. But there's more to it, right? Honest. Get rid of that. Um, right? Turns out the Empire State Building is in a windy area, and there's a substantial updraft. That updraft means we really can't ignore air resistance. But even so, if we were to take the penny away from the Empire State Building and drop it from the same height, if we could, uh, maybe we go up in a hot air balloon to get it up to that tall, I don't know, um, pennies hit their terminal velocity at about 50 feet, which is, you know, over 300 feet from the ground still. No. I take that back. 1,250 feet from the ground, right? So it's still 1,200 feet from the ground, okay? As such, it's not going to accelerate the whole way down. The terminal velocity means it's now moving at a constant velocity, no acceleration, right? So it's not going to get up to 190 miles per hour in the first place. So can we ignore air resistance for a penny dropped off the top of the Empire State Building? No. And even if we could, you wouldn't hurt anybody.